Hello friends, today I'm going to show you how to make the nice graph uh, in the Excel. If you are planning to write the research paper or thesis or journals, then you have to learn these skills to make uh, the graph look like this in your research paper or thesis. So I'm going to uh, I'm going to teach you step by step how to make this nice graph in Excel. So I'm going to delete this graph and I will show you step by step. So to make the graph in Excel, you need data. So here I have a time and versus uh, temperature data. Now let's start making the graph. First, select the data. and then uh, select the insert menu and then click on the chart so select the what kind of chart you want here i want the uh, scatter with smooth line graph so I, I choose that option so let's delete the chart we don't need the chart title and now let's uh, here you see uh, the inside there are lots of vertical and horizontal line grid lines we don't want these uh, grid lines so let's remove those grid lines we can remove those grid lines in two ways uh, first select the uh, grid lines now you, you see here the horizontal grid lines are selected and then uh, press the delete button and again select the uh, vertical lines and press the delete button in this way the grid line are deleted so there is another way you can uh, remove those grid lines so here click uh, the click on the plus icon and uh, uncheck the grid lines uh, option if you uncheck this then the grid line will be disappeared <coughs> now add the uh, now when i add the uh, axis title to add the axis title the click on the plus icon and uh, check the axis title option now you see uh, here the excel title appeared now let's rename the uh, excess title the vertical axis is temperature and the horizontal axis is the time Now I just finished renaming the axis title. <clears throat> now let's now let's change the font. Uh, I want uh, a Times New Roman font with uh, twelve uh, size. So if you want to change the uh, font, you can do it by manually by selecting uh, selecting the every. Uh, every place where you want to change the font if you want to change the axis title select the axis title and uh, change manually in this way you, uh, you will be able to change the font manually but uh, but if you want to change the font at once all the font at once so for this uh, click uh, right click on the chart click on the font and uh, I want the Times New Roman font, uh, font style bold, and the size is 12. Font color, I choose the automatic. So click OK. In this way, you see all the fonts are changed at once. So you don't have to change manually all the fonts one by one. Now now I want to remove the uh, the outside border line. So you see here is a you see you, you see here is a line outside line. So I don't want this out, outside border line. I only want inside border line. So there are two border. You see the outside border and inside border. So I want to remove the outside border and I I only want to keep the inside border. To remove the outside border line, uh, click the side of the outside border and click the format. Uh, menu and uh, click the format selection in the um, fill and line option uh, and uh, expand the uh, border option and click the no line in this way the outside line disappeared <clears throat> but 
but I want the rectangular uh, boxes in the inside border so I want uh, the in, uh, inside border to be look like, like rectangular uh, boxes so to, to do so click the inside box and in the border line click on the solid line now the border the border is appeared inside the box <clears throat> but if you compare the color of this uh, vertical and this horizontal line this horizontal line uh, is very dark but the the vertical the horizontal line is dark but vertical line is little bit fade so uh, we have to change the uh, color of those line also to make look uh, similar so click on the vertical axis uh, click on the uh, fill and line option and then select the solid line so you see the the lines uh, is uh, become dark here so similar way for this horizontal axis horizontal axis click on the fill and line option and click the solid line so you see the all the borders look like similar now dark thick and dark now it's a time to uh, add the uh, tick marks so to add the tick marks in the horizontal and the uh, vertical axis uh, click the at first i want to put on the vertical axis click the vertical axis and uh, in the axis option scroll down and uh, expand the tick x tick mark x menu and uh, there are two major and minor type of tick marks this time i want to only put the major type of the tick mark in the major major axis uh, there are three option for a tick mark inside outside and across so i want to i want inside option so if you choose the inside uh, the tick mark will uh, point toward the inside if you choose the outside option the tick mark will put uh, point toward the outside so in this case i want to put inside a tick mark uh, similarly for horizontal axis also scroll down and select the inside so in this way uh, the tick marks uh, you see the tick marks appear here now i want to add the legend in the graph so to add the legend click on the plus icon and uh, check the legend option so here the legend appears uh, I want to put the legend inside the uh, inside this box so just simply drag and drop inside the box and uh, expand and the scratch this box so you can put uh, you can uh, drag and drop box anywhere you want to put it the Excel automatically name this uh, legend as a series one if you want to rename the legend uh, just click on click the uh, chart and uh, click on the design menu and click the select data uh, you want to remove the we want to re rename the series one uh, legend so click the series one legend click the edit button edit option and now put the name you want any name you can put any name of the series legend so i want to put temperature time click the ok button and again click the ok so the legend name is changed to temperature time in this way you can put any name of your legend now in this way i created here nice graph just expand expand the, the scratch the table to uh, make more space inside the table In this way I made here nice table you can use it for the in your thesis in your research paper or any journal thank you for watching this video please subscribe my channel bye